Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five favorite nail polishes for fall, plus a few of my other fall favorites. Jumping right into it, you can't have a fall nail polish collection without the perfect muted gray. Now there's a ton of different shades of gray. You know, there's medium, there's dark grays. I've been on the hunt for a light almost white gray for a long time and then I found this one. This is a beautiful creamy formula from Olive and June. Two coats is all you need and it dries with a really great glossy finish and it lasts a long time. It gets expensive trying to buy new polishes and products every month for the new seasons that are coming out and one of my favorite ways is to use Shop Tagger. I actually just recently started using Shop Tagger and I absolutely love it. And I want to give a big thank you to Shop Tagger because this portion of the video is sponsored by them. Whenever I see an item online that I want to buy, I save it on one of my wish lists on Shop Tagger. And because I absolutely hate spending money, I usually wait for an item to go on sale before I actually buy it and using shop tagger is great for that because it sends you a push notification when that item goes on sale or if it was out of stock it'll come back in stock and they'll send you a notification sign up and installation is super easy you just download the shop tagger browser button and you can use the link that I have in the description to do that and then from there you have access to all of your favorite online stores and it's totally free then you just start saving items you want to shop tagger and you can even categorize your items like I have a bunch of lists for or my individual things that I'm saving. That way you can go in there and compare and see all the items that may or may not have dropped in price. And ShopTagger has a new feature which automatically scans the web for the best coupons so you can save the most money on your order. So if you like saving money, just click on that link in the description and download ShopTagger. It's completely free and it's gonna be your best friend when it comes to saving money, especially with the holidays coming up. So another color I've been loving this year and I loved it last year so, so much is Star Moss from London Town Lacquer. This is the most unique shade of green and the name is so cute. Star Moss, that's so cute. It literally is like the color of moss. I don't know where star comes from, but it's an adorable adjective, so I love it. And this is just the perfect muted mossy green that's actually flattering and it doesn't make you look like a zombie. It's just a super pretty green. Another color I've been actually liking, which I haven't in the past years, is black. I feel like black on my nails can kind of make me look ghastly, but uh, this one by Zoya has glitter in it, and anything with glitter in it is going to make you look better and more alive and like you're ready to party, and this one is absolutely beautiful. The first coat can kind of be sheer, but the second coat really builds up the color and that glitter just comes out. This would be perfect for Halloween designs. It's going to look great all the way into New Year's and throughout winter. It's just a really great and fun polish to have. Next up is actually a polish from one of Essie's newer collections. This is called Ace of Shades, and I've actually only had it a couple weeks, but I love it. So what's cool about this, not only is it that gorgeous ox blood red color with a little bit of jewel tone to it, but the formula is matte. Now, I don't wear nail polishes without a top coat ever, but what's good about this is if I did decide to wear it matte, throw a matte top coat on, I'm not gonna have that awkward little line of shine where I didn't take the top coat, the matte top coat, all the way to the edge of the polish. So I love when matte polishes have a really great color to them and then I can just apply an additional actual matte top coat to lock it in and it stays a really long time. And the next color is another Essie polish. I can't believe I have so many Essies in my collection. Before they changed their brushes, I didn't like Essie that much. Their formulas were okay, but they've really like upped their game recently. And I really like this one. This is called Rustworthy from their new autumn collection. And this is just, this is pumpkin spice in a bottle. It is metallic, which can be hit and miss for some people, but this one doesn't have any brush stroke problems. And it's just a gorgeous, lovely orange rusty shade. So those are my top five polishes that I'm loving for the autumn. Now we're gonna move into a little bit of a different category, but still nails related. This is such a good cuticle oil. This is the Cuticle Oil Elixir by Madame Glam. I got this bottle like the beginning of last month and I'm already almost out of it. It's just a really good formula of cuticle oil, lightweight, hydrating, soaks in, and it doesn't have a super strong smell. And I know I don't talk about beauty products that much on this channel, but I would love to start doing it. 
This is the Invisible Bronzer by Bare Minerals. I think it's been out since like the beginning of summer and I've actually had it a couple months, but I've been really liking it for the fall because I'm getting so ghostly pale and it's such a natural color. If you do decide to get this though, I suggest going two or three shades up. I got the fair originally, or I think maybe it was the light and it didn't even show up on my skin tone, but then I went to the dark one and it's beautiful and the formula makes it so that you cannot over apply this. It's just a very good bronzer. The perfume I've been wearing for the fall is called Nirvana Rose by Elizabeth and James and it smells so much like fall to me. I know this sounds stupid but every time I wear it I'm like I smell like a really fancy barn like not like a bad barn but like clean like a clean barn. <laughs> it just reminds me of cold air and like dying leaves but they smell really good and it's like sweet and I definitely smell a little bit of honey in it it's just a really nice scent if you haven't smelled this go to Sephora and smell it and tell me it does not smell like autumn to you it's really good so as you guys know I am obsessed with Maxis their base coat and top coat are up there with my favorites the base coat is my favorite base coat of all time well they just came out with strengthener 2.0 and I love it I've been breaking my nails non-stop and I started wearing this exclusively on off days when I'm not filming and my nails are growing so fast and they feel actually stronger which I don't even know if that makes sense biologically if like a topical thing would make your nails grow but this is amazing and since I last spoke about Maxis they actually started to sell their nail files which they haven't always been available to the public and you can buy them in packs they're the best nail file I don't know what it is about them they're just a regular disposable nail file but the grit is perfect I never have issues with flaking after I use these they're really good they're lightweight you can get a whole pack of them just throw one in your purse throw one in your car they are such a good nail file so those are the items I've been loving for the autumn season don't forget to check out shop tagger if you're interested in saving a little money while you shop and as always thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time